Have you gotten your Svelte app all set up? It works great on your computer, but then file uploads don't work when you build it? Or are you curious how to even handle file uploads and where to put them? When I first started learning Svelte, I thought I could just save uploaded files to the static folder. This is the folder where assets go, like your fave icon, logos, and so on. But the static folder is meant to only hold static assets, hence the name. The files in there only get loaded the first time the app runs. Files added while the app is running won't even be seen. You may not run into this when developing it, but it'll fail when built and put on a server. So let's learn one way to handle file uploads without using the static folder. Here I made a basic app with the home page containing a form with a file input. The file input is set up to allow multiple, and the form has the required multi-part encoding. Now when someone submits this form, it'll get sent to a pluspage.server.ts file. So let's make that. In here, we'll have the standard SvelteKit way of getting the form submission, which is an actions object with a default function in it. Then we get the form data from the request and the files from the data. We use get all here though, instead of get, because we asked for multiple files. And we can cast it as an array of files since I'm using TypeScript. Next, let's have a variable to control the path where we're gonna save it. And let's change it depending on if we're live or not. And that can be determined by using the dev variable imported from environment. So by default, the path variable will be the path of our server. And in my case, that will be var www html files. And if we're developing locally, I'll set the path to something like c temp. Of course, make sure that these paths exist in your case. Now we can loop through the files. And in the loop, let's generate a random UUID for the file name using the built-in crypto API. We are purposely not including the file extension just to add another layer of security here. And now we can save them. We're using the node adapter, so I have access to a write file sync function built in. This just wants the path and file name, so we'll combine those. Then next it needs the file data, which we can get as a buffer from the uploaded file like this. Now let's try it out. We didn't get any errors anywhere, so let's check the temp folder. And there it is, albeit without an extension or a preview. But now how do we pull this up later and display it on a web page? First thing you'd probably need to do in your server code is save this UID somewhere, like in a database. Then we need to create an endpoint in our app that will take in that UUID in the URL, read it from the file system, and output it. So I'm going to create an uploads folder under routes, a slug folder with brackets in there, and a plus server.ts file in the slug folder. And this will act like a get API endpoint, so we'll add the get function. And in here, we can grab the value for slug in the URL like this. Then we need the same code for our path. That's in our page.server file, so we can copy that. And now with that, we can read the file based on the path using the read file sync function and simply return that file using SvelteKit's response function. And if for some reason it fails to read the file, we'll just throw a 404 response. Now, if we visit our site, slash uploads slash that UUID in our temp folder, we can see the image. And this will work for any type of file as well. So if we were to go back and upload a PDF, we'd see a PDF here. And of course, to display an image on your app using this, the path would just be that uploads folder plus a UUID like this. And this can be used for profile pictures, image galleries, document uploads, or whatever. Plus the files are safely stored outside of the root of the site, which means people can't just browse them. Plus, since we're using a UUID for the file name, it would be a lot harder to guess the files if that exists. Finally, though, let's make sure it works on a server. So I'll run npm run build. And I'll use winscp to move it over to a Linux server I have ready. If you'd like to learn all about this process, check out my SvelteKit Linux hosting video. But once it's on the server and I restart the node service, we can pull up the site from app.slateapp.dev and try uploading a file. To see if it worked, I can list the contents of my var www html files folder, and there's one. Now I can copy this UUID and paste it in the URL after uploads, and there's the image on a live Linux server. Not too bad, right? Now that we know one method of handling file uploads, let me show you how uploading to the static folder fails, in case you're interested. Here I got our basic app again with a file upload and a script to catch the form submission. The path here though is set up to go to the location of the static assets in dev 
and in production, it's a little bit different. And for simplicity, we're using the original file name. So let's try it out. And look, the file immediately does show up in our static folder, but let's see if we can actually pull it up in the browser. The URL should just be slash bg.jpg. And there it is. It works great, right? Well, let's try building this app and putting it on a server now. If we upload a different file now, it seems to work, but let's check the files on the server. There's the background JPEG there, next to the fav icon and the logo. But now let's try to pull it up in the browser. And look, we do get a 404 not found, because our app doesn't look for any new changes to the static folder. So the method I mentioned in this video is a great way to get around this problem. If you have any questions about this video or method, let me know, and thanks for watching.